Ma Austin DK, I want to expose radical Islam. Like I promised you, I'm going to do some series on radical Islam. So today I'm starting the part one of exposing radical Islam. Before I became a Muslim, I was an ex-militant. I became a militant in 2004 and I stopped after uh, Yara Dua gave his amnesty. So I had this background. I had this uh, very good background, strong background. So I was able to code and decode whatsoever they were doing easily for me. What is radical Islam? Radical Islam simply means the, the belief and the practice of a doctrine called Wahhabism. Wahhabism. This doctrine called Wahhabism has two important pillars. Pillar number one. The fastest way to go to heaven is to kill a Christian. Pillar number two. Your wife must be in Puda. Your wife must be indoors. Your wife must not come out except she's covered from the head to the toe. In Nigeria, there are three categories of Wahhabis or terrorists or, or, or radical Muslims. Category number one, those who fight the jihad, the Shekharaos, the Boko Harams, the Talibans, the, the Al-Qaeda's, the, the Jihad Jones. They are those who are fighting the jihad. Category number two. Those who are financing the jihad. Those who are financing the jihad. Category number three. Those who are supporting the jihad. What I call the jihadi fans. Just like you have Manchester United fans. Now, there are three groups that practice Wahhabism that believes and practices Wahhabism in Nigeria. Group number one is Boko Haram. Group number two is ISIS. And group number three is, is Zala. They are all Wahhabi. They are all radical Muslims. The difference is in their modus operandi. The way they interpret the killing. Especially. Boko Haram believes that anyone who does not believe and practice Wahhabism should be killed. I say, said, no, let's kill only the Christians. Is that I say, wait, 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 we shouldn't start with the Christians or, or, or we should start with Shia. After Shia, we will not face the Christians. After the Christians, we will face the Delica Muslims. I don't share this opinion alone. There is a Sheikh in the north called Sheikh Dai Ribauchi. Sometimes, some time ago, he warned his followers, you are now watching the, 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 the Zalas killing the Shia. After killing the Shia, they will face the Christians. And after the Christians, it is you, the Nikah Muslim, that they will kill next. Having said this, I want to make a big revela revelation in this country. The president of this country now, now President Muhammad Buhari and his Kaba, they are all Wahhabi. They are all radical Muslims. I will prove it. Before the president became the president, he was a Derika Muslim. According to this Wahhabis, every Derika Muslim is, uh, uh, adds something to his deen. That is, they use charm or they use jinn. So they don't see them as being pure Muslims. He was, the president was a Derika Muslim. That was why he saw his wife frying a kara. His wife was going for party meetings, uh, rallies and the rest of them. But after the election, he was having romance, religious romance with Izala, and they converted him. For one to be born again in Islam is for one to be a Wahhabi. The difference between a born again Muslim and a born again Christian is that the born again Christian believes his weapon of warfare is spiritual, mighty through God, to the pulling down of stronghold. While a, a Wahhabi or a born again Muslim believes that his weapon of warfare is Kana. Mighty through bomb, AK-47, BMGs, in the name of Allah. That is the difference. Now, the president, before the most powerful woman in this world, he said his wife belongs to the kitchen, to the living room, and to the other room. Dear friends, that was a code. That is the heart of Wahhabism. That is the center of the teaching of Wahhabism. Your wife must be in the kitchen, your wife must be in the living room, and your wife must be in the other room. That is, your wife must be indoors, your wife must, your wife must be in Buddha. He has already subjected his wife to that thing before he became sick. 
That was why his wife is complaining that the Kabbalah has taken over the government of, of her husband because she is a Berika Muslim. What I just told you now, I said it before the American embassy when the CIA invited me. They wanted to know what I know about radical Islam. And I said this, the CIA staff there looked at his colleague and said, what this guy just said now, a lot of people share this opinion in Washington. He now looked at me and said, what you just said now, a lot of people share this same opinion in Washington. I saw in his face, boldly written, flabbergasted. Buhari is a Wahhabi. His Kabbalah are all Wahhabis. They believe in radical Islam. I will stop here. I will continue later. Thank you.